This is a collective reading for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. I had one sideways card, then I will do the reversals, and then the upright. I have the Nine of Wands, the Griffin. Keep quiet and listen. You will find out something that will help you better your life. A cycle of completion follows a job well done. In the reverse, I have the Queen of Wands, Naga. There was a lack of positive growth regarding your willpower and ability to cope with an emotionally trying event. The Knight of Swords, this is the Peacock of Kartikeya. There was a misinterpretation of information that may have affected your ability to think clearly or make a decision in a timely manner. I have the Fool in the reverse, the Amphispana. There was a lack of goals or focus when you took a leap of faith and something unexpected happened. I have the Six of Swords in the reverse, the Japanese Ho-Ho. There was a move that was made that resulted with a negative outcome. You may currently be stuck, unable to relocate. Then I have the Three of Swords, Jenny Green Teeth. There was a separation in a love relationship that resulted in sadness, loss, and possible rejection. In the upright, I have the Tower, the Kraken. Devastating events will soon turn your life upside down. Someone who appears one way hides a very different inner personality. Events are out of your control. I have the sun, the winged lion. Continued courage and persistence will carry you through your struggles. This is a time of new beginnings, accomplishments, and success. Then I have the high priestess, the Egyptian Uazit. A secret will be revealed to you, and you will need to use your intuition to solve a problem. The last card I have from this deck is the King of Wands, Oberon. Advice from a powerful businessman can help you make a decision. Unexpected, unexpected good news will help you move forward with your plans. So I hope this helps. Have a good day.